in my experience with skylights, as I've talked to you about before, <laughs> we're going to lead right into oh, skylights here. <laughs> oh boy. Have I had some fun with skylights over the years? My YouTube channel has some great skylight videos on it. Um, because I just, I'm blown away by what I find with skylight. I literally lift them right off roofs all the time. Hey, can you get, I yell down to the customer, can you get me some sugar? And they're like, what? <laughs> They're look, looking up, what the Who hell are you, are you talking about? <laughs> Who's this guy? <laughs> but yeah, I have fun with it when I find it. But I, uh, I have to compliment you because I I don't think I really ever thought that anybody would not secure a skylight. <laughs> so I just assumed, well, it's got to be secure. And now wow. I check all, I was on a, in one, I was on a house yesterday that I had inspected, I don't know, six months ago, you know, as, as you run into we get some repeat stuff and, yeah yeah uh and i'm yeah i'm like oh i was just here they didn't do anything they didn't do any of the stuff i told them to do and I'm walking around i'm like oh, maybe i should check that skylight sure enough I'm not secured yeah. <laughs> you know how, how hard is it to put up from now on i want to text from you go and found another one I know. <laughs> I know. so i lift it up i take a photo i'm like oh well, you know i'm going to be submitting this report with a little little different information yeah. this time I, I remember you and I being on a roof a couple of years back. Um, very expensive house. Yeah. Remember that one? I do. And remember all the skylights? We talked about that. And uh, one of them, they literally, this house had to be what, six million? This this house was worth so much money. It was crazy. And it was all just redone. Or re, it was yeah. all just built. Yeah. They took, uh, this is, by the way, this video is on my YouTube channel. And I put it on there twice because mm. I got called back to look at it again. They said they fixed it. Oh and my, they did. They did not fix it. That happens a lot. <laughs> they they built the curb, which is its own size. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could make the curb smaller and reframe everything and pull the drywall apart and redo it all. Mm -hmm. Or you can just order the right size skylight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they were too big. Right. Yeah, that's right. So they're they're they measured wrong. Whoever did it, they ordered the skylight and made the curb the same dimension as the skylight frame. So the skylight sat on top of the curb. It didn't That's go over right. it. That's Remember that? Right. It didn't it yes. didn't sit over it like yes. it's supposed to. We could yeah. fasten it to the side. So you couldn't even fasten it. Yeah. And then I go back the second time. I wish I had time to pull these photos, but I, I can't remember the name, address of the property. Uh, and second time around, they took just sheet metal and tried to funky do this this flashing to make it better and i i just looked at the lady i said ma'am i told you to get a qualified person here yeah because whoever did this the first time screwed it up yeah and they need to buy you a new skylight you need the right size and problem solved right they're trying to make push a square peg into a round yep. hole here it ain't gonna work yeah so yeah that's that's some crazy shit that i see yes and i call it out all the time and I remember having you on the phone. I called you before, and I say, "What do you? What's your opinion on these flat skylights on flat roofs mm -hmm. with no pitch mm -hmm. on the curbs?" Yeah. And it's been my my opinion and my experience over the years when I used to roof. I did install a lot of skylights, mm -hmm. and I knew how to do it. I was trained by a really good guy, mm -hmm. and all the flashings had to be intact. You had to put the or the rubber membrane between mm -hmm. the roof and the mm -hmm. curb, and you had to make that thing super watertight. Mm -hmm. So I know how this is supposed to go down, mm -hmm. and I constantly see it just hacked. Mm -hmm. the, the work I see on the, some of these houses is just absolutely crazy. So it's, it's just the importance of checking skylights. Mm -hmm. So inspectors and roof inspectors, if you're out there. <laughs> yeah, check try the skylights. To lift them. Just mm -hmm. grab each corner and see if they're coming yeah. up because a lot of times, even if it's brand new, they're not even screwed down with one screw. There's no sealant. There's nothing. Yeah. And they're just someone just went like that and left. Yep. Yeah. And, you know, while we're talking about skylights, I mean, for me, um, I am a fan of curb mount skylights and pretty much that's all I, f I feel like is going to be a def dependable waterproof um, skylight. You mean on so, a flat roof or even a slope? Either one. Okay. Either one. I'm not a fan of the self-flashing uh, low-profile skylights. You can get away with it on a composition shingle roof, um, but to install one of, one of those on a tile roof. So really you want to have um, a two-by-six curb 
and then a framed skylight that's going to sit on top of that curb. Yeah, I'm trying to in, pull up a curb in, right now so people can see. Yeah, in pretty much all situations. That's kind of too small. Uh, and then... You have the ability All to. Right, here's a good. Here's yeah. a good. Here's a good picture. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a curb. So basically, there's your roof. Mm -hmm. uh, the curb is just basically a, a little bit of wood framing, and it mounts right on top of the roof. Yep. You nail it in, and then you have to seal it and flash it, and then the skylight sits on top of the curb. That's correct. And it can be openable. It can. Be, they they come yep. in different versions. It can be flat glass. It can be a dome it can be white it can be tinted it can be whatever but yeah. you want it to be a curb mount style skylight and if you button it up and you do your flashing installation properly yep. on the sides and on the, uh, the top side, flashing there's a top, the top flashing, flashing a bottom mm -hmm. flashing yeah there's a, they, the, it's a kit it comes that's with correct. the skylight and that's for a reason yep and i've seen too many times where up at the top here where the top section of flashing goes somebody just made their own flashing mm -hmm. and it's like oh seriously guys this yeah. is so bad yeah and it's <laughs> no way it's gonna it's no no way it's not gonna leak yep so there's two types of skylights um skylights that haven't leaked yet and skylights that leak <laughs> <laughs> That's basically, i have i have uh five skylights in my house none have ever leaked well you know what you're doing so that's not fair <laughs> <laughs> So here's a good uh, here's a good uh, image right now yeah. of what Chris is describing building a curb right here. Mm -hmm. So that's it, and then you flash it up. Yeah, See how they got the it'll never they, leak. They got the membrane right there connecting between the roof and the seam of the framing. That's how you do it. Yep, you do it right, and then put your flashing in, and then you shingle up. You shingle up with your flashing. Yeah. And or if it's on a flat roof, you do your rolled right. roofing all the way up the side of the curbs on all sides. Yep, and you're good to go. Yeah, but six inches up versus four, like a two by four versus a two by six. Frankly, I like two by six. You just want yeah. it off the roof level. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah let that water go go around it That's or right. under it. Yeah. That's not right. not right into it all the time. So yeah, that was a good lesson there on skylights. Um, so I mentioned a few minutes ago, a flat roof with a flat curb. I would prefer to see. And one side of the curb higher than the mm -hmm. other. So a flat glass skylight, the water has a place to go. I just don't seem to think that's a good idea for any building material to hold on to moisture. Yeah. So they're sitting dead flat on the roof. Yeah. and they're, yeah. They're, I've seen it where I can go like this with my finger. And there's water. And it just, there's yeah. a pool of water. Yeah. It's just covering it. And, so and the water's going to do its thing. It's, it's going to work not, its way it's, into the seal. It's going to yeah. let it let the sun damage it quicker. Right. I agree. They yeah. actually, I believe, Velux skylights um, are uh, fully fully sealed on all sides, and they don't require there to be a slope. Oh, okay. um, it doesn't void their warranty, etc. There are some types of skylights, and what we're talking about right now is is uh, flat glass skylights right versus dome skylights dome skylights doesn't matter it's, what should be that's a flat glass skylight yeah. right there so that's a good installation um plenty of slope uh, and they have actually a weep hole vents on some skylights so you have to install it um the right way so you can't have the the, the weep hole vents have to be on the low side right. versus the high side they can drain um, just like a window is, that's right uh yeah, just like a window yeah so but yeah, it, it, I agree. You know, it's why would you put it dead flat if it's if it's glass? Right. You're gonna you're gonna look up. You're gonna see the water puddling up there. And yeah, uh, this is just, what I prefer to see right here. There you go. A low yeah. side, a high side. Yep. If it's flat glass, because you know when it comes to skylights and you have those those plastic domes, you basically just have a hole in, hole in your roof. There's no R value there. No. Yeah, that's just a big. Why not put something where you can put a double pane? Glass. Well, the dome skylights are uh, insulated, some of them, mm -hmm. so they're double dome. Right. Uh, so oh, that's they, true, yeah. Yeah, and those are, um, that's what I have in my house, and they, they seem to be uh, efficient. I When I did my skylights, it wasn't as, the, the glass ones weren't as popular. Uh, if I do go to change them out, I'll, I'll go to glass, but. Yeah, um, it's an older older design. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So I, if I see those, uh, and they're still in good shape, I just let you know, you know, it's just old. It's an old material, it's, you know, it's yeah. functionally obsolete. Right. You, know, it's, you, yep. can get, you can get much better nowadays. That's true. I haven't seen one of these yet. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Pyramid. The pyramid. <laughs> yeah, that's a specialty skylight. I, I see those uh, from time to time. Um, when it gets into that sort of thing, I, I, 
Oh, this one's got copper. Yeah. That's, a that's, fan, that's an expensive one. That's a very expensive one. Oh, look, it's got like, a motor, too, so it's going to pull back. Yeah, that's like a little opening. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let the birds shit right in your house. <laughs> <laughs> the, the crows fly in. Yeah, right? And you wonder why there's a bat on your ceiling when you go to bed at night. That actually happened to me before. I was living, uh, I was living uh, downtown, and I, I was uh, renting a lot, a loft, and I left... My slider opened maybe a foot, and I left the house. So I come back later that night, and I'm just doing my thing in the kitchen, whatever. And I suddenly made me look up, and I see this big brown thing <laughs> on the ceiling, uh, a beam. I'm like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> I was like, is that a bird? Is that an owl? It's a fucking bat. Yes. In the my, worst thing. In my house. Probably worse than a rat. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, shit. This thing's gonna land on my face yes. while I'm You're just like, thinking this I thing's do? gonna land on my face while I'm yeah. sleeping. I'm like, oh shit. Yep. So I opened up both doors. I had these big sliding doors, opened up both and just got stuff and started throwing it out. <laughs> it's just whatever I had to do get to get out. it out. It took me probably 30 minutes to get rid of get it. Get them out. But man, I'm glad I saw that. Yeah. Because that would have sucked if I woke up with a bat on my face. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. I saw a, a YouTube video with um it can transition to a, a, a roof uh, conversation. So these uh, roofers were taking off a, a, a clay tile roof, and I'm I'm pretty sure this roof did not have bird stop. Uh, so yeah. bird stop, folks, is uh, something that kind of fills the the rounded edges at the edge of the roof, so uh, you can't get pest intrusion underneath the tiles. The uh, bird's with, nest with, and everything. Yeah. yeah. So that's it, it's a it, it is something that I call out if it's not there. Um, sometimes you can get away with it just fine. Sometimes not so much, but uh, it does invite pest intrusion. But these guys were removing a roof and they start taking up these tiles, and all of a sudden bats are just everywhere. Wow! And they have interrupted these bats in their sleep, and they're just I mean, there's hundreds and hundreds of them. Wow! Underneath living underneath the, those tiles. And I don't know what the outcome was of that, oh, but I guess that was the end of that. But I hope um, they had the yeah. respirators on. Yeah, man, because that, oh, that's, that's nasty. All that droppings and piss and everything else. And oh, that's that's just yeah. not good. That's not they healthy. Earned their for money you. that day. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. That's enough. With, enough with the bats. We're gonna <laughs> give people nightmares on this episode. <laughs> Sorry, you weak and squeamish out there. Um, so that there, flash chimney roof. So uh, for a home inspector, what, what advice would you have for finding abandoned vent stacks, abandoned uh, old furnace exhaust pipes? Get rid of them. Tell, recommend they take them off the roof and, you know, redo the roof yeah. in that area. Yeah. Just a potential it, leak. Right. Yeah. If it's not needed, you don't want something popping hole. through the roof. And yeah. it's not a terribly, uh, you know, difficult or expensive repair. No, it's pretty simple. Yeah. That's pretty simple stuff. So I, I mean, I write that up all the time. Yep. I always take my flashlight and look down all the all the pipe stacks. You'd be surprised see if it's which, going somewhere. <laughs> yeah. yeah, usually right into the insulation in the attic. That's, yeah, that's what I see a lot. So uh, <laughs> that's that's gonna leak. Uh, I just did a house uh, two weeks ago and it had four inch cast iron plumbing vent mm -hmm. that they they canceled Cut. out in the attic and I'm looking down it and I can see all the insulation right there. It's a four inch hole. I said you got this house actually had. The square footage of the house was 1,100 square feet, and it was one floor, and it was a 1920s square, just basically a square, mm -hmm. and it had five open voids in the roof, and none of the uh, pipe stacks were sealed, mm. and they were all new vent pipes. So I looked at this listing agent, hey, man, I don't know who did your roof, but you need to call them back. <laughs> you know, it, what, what I see with that is quite often you'll have so for instance hvac hvac contractors or um or or uh you know they're doing a, a bathroom remodel or a kitchen remodel and they just don't have the expertise to properly roof in the flashing whether it's coming yeah. through shingle or coming right. through a rolled roof so they just maybe they don't put a flashing at all um or they'll put a flashing and it's just sitting on top of the roof and yeah. Hey, we'll just throw a little roof cement over the base of it and call it a day. Yeah. Uh, but there's, you know, proper overlapping technique for those flashings, and it's really critical. And that's another place where roofs, uh, probably uh, one of the most common 
leaks is uh, improper flashing or lack of flashing installation at a pipe or, or vent coming through the roof. Yeah, like I said before, if you get no penetrations coming through your roof, where's it going to yeah. leak? Yep. When it starts leaking, it's because of one of those. That's right. Most likely. Yep. Most likely. 